I'd like to call for uh, our main speaker, Martin Oog Macon, Republican Network for Unity. First of all, I'd like to welcome everyone here today on behalf of the Republican Network for Unity. For the past few years, our NU has commemorated Henry Joy McCracken, one of the founding fathers of Irish Republicanism with dignity and respect. Henry Joy was an 18th, 18th century radical who envisioned an Ireland free from British occupation, free from religious discrimination, free from imperialism, free from social, cultural and economic inequality. Before going any further, we need to put Henry Joy into his historical context. The American and French re revolutions greatly influenced Irish men like Henry Joy McBride. The two successful struggles ended centuries of tyrannical dictatorship by kings and brought democracy to both countries. On October the 14th, 1791, a small group of Irish Republicans, Ruth Tone, Thomas Russell, Henry Joy McCracken, Samuel Nixon, Thomas Hammett, William Sinclair, Henry Hazlitt, Thomas McCabe, Robert Sims and Thomas Pierce met in Belfast and established the Society of United Irishmen. Prior to this, the British government used religion as a divisive tool to cause conflict. However, the new organisation consisted of Protestant Anglicans, Presbyterian dissenters and ordinary Catholics alike, all equal members. After Britain declared war with France in 1783, the United Irishmen were treated as subversive and outlawed by the British government. In June 1785, McCracken, Tone, Russell, Nielsen and Amit met secretly on Cave Hill where they agreed an oath. They swore together to never desist in our effort until we support English authority over Ireland and assert her independence. Tone then travelled to France and secured military aid to help an Irish uprising. Napoleon gave his full support. He also appointed Tony General in his revolutionary army. He gave him charge of a large force, a flotilla filled with thousands of troops and a massive arsenal for Irish men failed to reach Ireland due to bad weather. Tone had been in regular contact with his comrades back home and they still anticipated France help. The United Irish planned an operation for 1788. However, due to the infiltration of informers who notified their paymasters who the leaders were and when the raising would take place. Key revolutionaries were sub subsequently lifted and imprisoned, leaving most plans in disarray. Another major problem for the United Irishmen was the formation of the sectarian Orange Order, who led widespread persecution of Republicans, radicals, and in particular Catholics throughout the North. They were supported in their br brutal tragedies by the local yeomanry and thousands of British troops. Despite British and US oppression across the country, the United Irish rules in counties Waterford, Tipperary, Wexford, Kildare, Kilkenny, Carlow, Dublin, Meath, Adam, Down and Armagh. Significant battles occurred in Wexford, Down and Adam, but ended in defeat for the Irish. The Republican army in Adam was led by Henry Joy McCracken, and after some initial success, they too were beaten. McCracken evaded capture in Adam Town, but was arrested later after he was identified by an informer. Henry Joy was offered clemency from the British, if only he testified against other leaders. McCracken refused to turn on his comrades and remained faithful to his principles. He was court-martialed at the age of 30 and hanged on July the 17th, 1788 at Corn Market in Belfast, on the same land his grandfather had donated to Belfast City. His remains were reinterred here at Clifton Street Cemetery alongside his sister Mary Ann. Prior to her own death, his sister also raised Henry Joy's daughter, Mary Bodle. As I said earlier, our party has honoured Henry Joy here in this lonely graveyard for the past few years. Before that, commemorations were few and far between for this local legend, just like his predecessors in the struggle for Irish freedom. Henry Joy dedicated himself to end the peerless old prize in our nation. He was a patriot that did his best to free Ireland from the centre to the sea. So comrades, I ask you all to leave the sacred ground today and remember the sacrifice of Henry Joy 
Think of his revolutionary commitment to keep men and all those who came after him for a million meal. And one last big point, uh, in AN 16, or sorry, 1767, Henry Joy was buried, so it's his birthday today. Okay. Thank you. Could we stand for a minute, silence, please? We ask the Port of Down Blue Band, the Republican Blue Band, to play around the vein, please. Tonight, folks, there's a function on the Lagonet Tavern. Uh, there's rebel and folk music on tonight, if anybody's interested. Uh, I would like you to, to honour Henry Joy McCracken and show a wee bit of respect and, and just head on home and just give him the honour and the dignity that he deserves. We're letting them people over there ruin the day. Go on, meet him, Yoga.